right, guys, what's up? Welcome what back up? to another episode of the Brian and Frankie Show. I'm Brian. My name is Frankie. And today, guys, what we're going to be talking about is how to deal with haters. Yeah. So, you know, in life, whether it's the build on your car, the car you buy, the things you do on your personal time, your personal hobbies, anything that you do, especially on social media, there's going to be haters. Yep. So haters are looking looking at you left and right. They're always going to be behind you, <laughs> in front of you. There's no way around haters. Yep. And how the cliche saying goes, you know, if you don't have haters, you're not doing anything right. So let's get right into it. Uh, Frankie, what are some experiences that you've had where you've had to deal with haters and how did you deal with it? So people always talk shit. So back then when, you know, you're on the come up, you're trying to grind, there's always going to be those certain people that just don't believe in you, that are always hating on you and always negative. So the first thing you have to do is really cut them out of your life. And that's why I would always say back then, like, you're cut off, you're cut off, you're <laughs> I cut remember off. that. Yeah, so. It's cut off season. It's cut off season. Yeah. And, you know, those are the type of people that you need to let go because they would always hold me back when I was trying to do something valuable in my life. And they discourage you. They're like leeches that you just don't need in your life. Uh, the way that I kind of just moved on past them is I literally just cut them off and Till this day, we both have haters. There's always those guys that just do not like yep. you. And I just do my best to, you know, not pay attention to them and focus on what's in front of me. Back then, you know, you have a ego. You have yeah, that's pride. what I was going to ask you. Like, I know that oh. we're, we've learned our lessons now and we know how to deal with it a lot better. Because yeah. I'm the same way. Like, if there's a... If there's people hating on me on social media, I just block them, move on. Yeah. I don't respond. I don't say anything. You know, let the person yeah. put the negativity out there. I'm not going to do it. So just let them do their thing, block them out of your life, and move on. Yeah, and like, I feel it like... It doesn't even phase me anymore. It doesn't even matter, you Yeah, know? and I feel like when you're younger, you... It kind of hits Take it to you. Heart. Yeah, it's like, what the <laughs> fuck? Who the fuck is yeah, this exactly. guy? What is... Yeah, like, why the fuck are you hating on me, bro? And... And I mean, that's why people you fight Especially in high school. Especially in high school, you have such a huge ego, and someone says one bad thing about you, and you're like trying to fight. Now, yeah, it's on sight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, for sure, back then it was like I would contact a person, and you know, we would talk shit on each other, and it'd just be a all out brawl, and it was really unprofessional. Too. Yeah, so if you are one of those people right now, We've been there, done that, learned our lessons. That's just not the right way to go about it. Most of the time when someone's hating on you, like I just said, it's probably predicated on their either their insecurities or their jealousness or enviousness of you and what yeah. you have going on. So honestly, just take it as a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you said, if you don't have haters, then you ain't doing shit right. Yeah. And like uh, Grant Cardone, I think the other day I was listening to him and something he said, he was like, at first – um, they hate on you and then they fall and then they become yeah, followers then of they you become followers yes. and then they are jealous of you. Yeah, like, they're but, envious. Exactly. And so it's like at the end of the day, I would just take that as a win. Yeah. You know, even today we have competitors that try to talk crap on our company and they'll try to say, say that what, we're, they'll say a bunch <laughs> of bullshit, bro. They will fucking say anything to get under our skin and it's hard. It's hard to deal with hate because you want to fucking contact this person. Yeah, you want to get them back, but you're like, yeah. dude, at the end of the day, I don't need to stoop to their level. Exactly. I don't need to be a little immature kid again Yeah, and try to just say a bunch of BS and lies just to, like, make yourself feel better because <laughs> yeah. we're beating him or doing better. Like, and what, you just what, don't need to do that. Yeah, like, name some examples of what these people are trying to tell us right now. We have this one guy – um, that's going around posting on his story saying that we're copying his designs and other people's designs. And the funniest part about it is that this guy will literally say like that we're copying his designs at the exact same moment. He's copying everything that yeah. we do and, yeah, and, 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 and creates a business based off of an entire other business. Like he's yeah. literally copying this guy to a T, but at the same time calling us copycats yeah that we're just copying everything so like you know it's just very hypocritical 
and he tries to get his whole following involved, and we just ignore it. We just let it go. Uh, I, we, he honestly, then, we've had people come to us and be like, dude, this guy looks so immature. Yeah. Like, this guy looks like he's a big baby. And then you you make yourself look bad. You know, stop being a whiny little bitch. Stop, stop complaining about life. Move the fuck on and focus on what's in front of you, not behind you, yep. not people. It just focus on what actually matters. And that's what we're yeah. doing. And it's hard. It's really hard to just brush it off and let it go. But that's you know, the, always we, the best yeah. way, though. That's always the right answer is to just let it go. Don't don't give in because that's honestly what the person's trying to do. When yeah. when they're aching you on, they're trying to get a reaction out of you. They're yeah. trying to get you to slip up and stoop to their level because they already went there. Just let it go. That's always the right answer. And, you know, I forgot what study it was, but I just read it the other day. And in the top three most, like, unattractive, unappealing qualities in a person is, a like, a complainer. Yeah. Someone that just wants to bitch and moan and complain about everything that they have going on yep. and complain and talk crap on this person and that yep. person, like little gossip girl. Like those are that's the top three most unappealing qualities that you could be like as a person. So yeah. it's like if you are, you know, if you catch yourself complaining or if you catch yourself like talking crap on somebody else, just just try to work on that. You know, put your head down yeah. and just work on yourself and what you have going on. Don't worry about what other people are doing or what other people have. Just worry about yourself. Everybody has different cards dealt to them. So just focus on yours and just be the best version of yourself that you can be. That's Yeah, that's what we preach all the time. That's what we're focusing ourselves on is just being the best person that we can be today, tomorrow, and for the rest of our lives. Yeah. And. I mean, there's there you hear you hear of stories of you know kids committing suicide off of this. I, yeah, sorry, I don't mean to get the, too dark, but because of the bullying, yeah, yeah. The bullying but there's there's the kids haters. that literally take it so serious, and you know if you are a kid listening, like trust me, guys, it's it's there's nothing there's no there's not a person on the planet, even if they're friends and family, that's worth taking the negative shit talk. Mm -hmm. Just block them out of your lives. And on yeah. social media, it's been it's. It's as easy as ever. You just, to just don't block need it. Them. You don't need Two negativity clicks, in your and life. They're gone forever. You guys want a better life? Block out all the negatives in your life. Just stay around positive people that support you and that believe in you. And just in, in life in general. It doesn't have to be about business. Just you don't need negativity in your life. It's like their leeches just trying to suck your ass down. Yeah, I mean, we have another guy that like we used to like talk to back in the day like four or five years ago and we no longer work with him or talk to him anymore and this guy spends so much time focusing on what we're doing yeah and like we call him the shadow and, and he's just a shadow that follows every little thing we do and he's trying so hard to, to be like us yeah. but it's like dude you're you and we're us Exactly. And we're just we have our yeah. heads down focusing on what we're doing. And this guy's just focusing so, on what and exactly what we're doing. And he'll never make it yeah. until he just realizes that he needs to form his own path and yes. do his own thing. And this person is really good at what they're studying and what they're doing at the moment and he should but he's focus. Trying, yeah, yeah, he's exactly. trying to He's, he's trying, trying to, to be good at the things doing. he's not good at. Yeah. Instead of focusing and doubling down on what he is good at. Yes, yes, so. he'd be very successful if he just focus on his his life rather exactly. than focusing on our lives and just trying to replicate it and with that being said it's like w this person that is hating on us telling us that we're copying him and that we're looking at everything that he does and we're trying to replicate it we're not we're just fucking yeah, we don't following even pay attention our own to him. path we yeah don't even we don't watch what he's doing yeah and all of this is just is just a bunch of bullshit that <laughs> nobody needs and the fact that we just wanted to make this video just to let it out and basically show you guys that it doesn't fucking matter if people hate on you. It's actually a good thing. It motivates you. You know, you brush yeah. it off. I feel like it motivates me, bro. It does. Yeah. Like I was saying earlier, back in the day when we were younger, it wasn't so oh, motivating. Yeah. I took it the wrong Take way. It to heart. Yeah. But I think that had to do with the fact that when you are young, you're still kind of shaping your own, like you're molding yourself still. So you're yeah. still a little insecure. And I feel like once you get to a place where you're truly confident in yourself mm -hmm. and what you have going on, that's that then it becomes motivating. Yeah. Because right now we're just super motivated and we're super confident with what we have and what we're building and what we're trying to create. And we're going in full force. Yes, and, it's been hard. And so now when we receive hate, 
it's it actually makes us smile like it, it is a compliment to us and it's motivating to us it make it, yeah. it lights that fire under our belly so you know when people hate on you just flip it and be a glass half full kind yeah. of person and use that as motivation to achieve your goals and what you want yeah and with that being said i think that's yeah that guys so it was a little, little short quick it was a short podcast today little rant just wanted to give you guys you know some insight on how we deal with haters how you should deal with haters yeah. And that's the end of the podcast for today, guys. So right, enjoy guys. the rest Peace of your out. days.